Hello and welcome to another video. On this video I have a Peugeot partner and this car has problem with AdBlue system. As you can see the AdBlue check light over there, engine check light on another side. I have the launch connected. We give a scan. We see which faults we have it. We see what he can do launch on this car because this PSA group they are not so friendly with diagnostic tools from the begin I know already how I must to repair this car repair is very simple I will deactivate the AdBlue system and I will tell you also why because this is the wish of the customer the car was to Peugeot one and a half years ago now have around 200,000 km they replace all the system they replace the new tank pump line injectors everything the car is running for as I said one one and a half year around 30,000 km and again they have problem with AdBlue system and the customer decide to deactivate the AdBlue and uh, of course, if I will be also in the same situation like this customer, I will do the same. I mind when you pay 2,600 euro to repair the car and after one year, one and a half year, you have the same fault. Of course, you will take this way. I don't suggest you to deactivate DPF or AdBlue, but if you don't have another choice and if the factory cannot repair the car for you, I mind fuck them. And also fuck the system. It's not allowed, but when you take money from the people, and you replace it with a brand new parts, original part, and the fault come back, it's allowed to take the money? This will be a good question. Because for those people, it's everything allowed, you know? And uh, of course, uh, as I said, he will, I will deactivate this. It's the wish from the customer. This is not my problem. I do on the car what the customer requests. He is the owner of the car, not me. It showed me a message where he said in 500 km no start. But uh, what I want to tell you before to deactivate this one, you should uh, reset, try to delete the errors and reset the system. And after that, you switch off and just leave it like that, okay? On this French car, you should not leave the engine running, but this is exactly what I do. I leave the engine running. Don't do like me. Take a battery maintainer. Leave the car on charging and make the scanning, okay? The scanning is almost finished. I skip because I don't want to have too long this video. We should also give a look on what this small tool can do. And I don't want to make one hour video. Okay, and it's finished. These are the fault in the BSI system, in the comfort issue. Okay. As I said, we do have a problem, but it's permanent. Airflow sensor, this is not true. Okay, it have a lot of faults, this car. EGR2, particle filter, it's clocked. This car is fucked. Also, if you delete the AdBlue on the car, you should take out the DPF and send it for clean, because on this state, you cannot leave it here, if it's really clocked. Let's see which parameters we have. Look on the live data. Okay, we take one after each other quick and see which information we have it here.
this is too much definitely should be sanded for clean let's see here This pressure cannot be true. Okay, let's go on special function. Uh, when you send the particle filter for clean, you should also replace the sensor. Always buy a new sensor, buy an original one, put it in the car then learn that sensor and that's it, you are ready to go engine not running switch on ok, not interesting here work on the fuel circuit let's say yes for example ok, you have injecting correction, ok You work on emission system. You can tell them you replace one of this one. You can tell him you replace the additive pump. The service is not supported. It doesn't allow you to make these changes because it's French car. Okay. Then we go back. If you work on the engine, let's see what he will tell us. We have a few options here, it's not bad. Okay. Let's go back. Actually, it's everything what you have here, special function and nothing else. We go also on the BSI system. And we'll see if it's possible to make coding or not. Okay, it's not bad. Launch CRP919, it uh, will allow you also to make coding on the BSI. This is really good. We go back. I will delete all these faults. I will check also this car. I said to you what uh, I will do. I will deactivate the AdBlue because the customer wish to have the AdBlue out of the car. This will be another video when I read and write the ECU. If you need this kind of services for AdBlue DPF, you can write me on the email address. I will leave you the email address what I use it only for software. I can provide also services for tuning. Be free to ask me and send me an email. It costs you nothing. Okay. This is also a way how you can help this channel and uh, 
believe me the price it will not disappoint you i don't want to speak about this on this video i will make another video but just ask if you need services okay we close here the video i don't have so much to show you related with this channel for his money it's quite good make his job i cannot complain till the moment when i have something to complain be sure i will make that video where i will tell you what the problem it is i put also the link on the description for more about this one i prefer always to buy from the factory or from the producer but uh, it's up to you from where you decide to buy okay it's just for that people who ask me all, all the time from where i can buy they have a link there it's not my shop or market or store then don't believe uh, if you'll buy from there you make me rich if you'll buy from there is because you have directly linked to the factory and uh, in my opinion this is the best option if you have problem with tool you can be direct on the contact with the factory okay that's it for today let's close the video here as i said will be another video for the adblue system i will tell you thank you for watching and see us in the next video bye bye